Hole Wizard can be a very powerful and useful tool. It is used to create standard sized holes in parts, usually for bolts, screws, rivets, and other fasteners. It will also make creating drawings a lot easier, as it will automatically add a hole callout to your drawing, with the specific information needed to machine that hole. You can start the hole wizard by going to the Features tab and clicking on the hole wizard. In the Type tab, it wants to know the specific type of hole. First, specify the hole type. Counterbore, countersunk, regular hole, tapped hole, tapered hole, legacy hole, slotted counterbore, slotted countersunk, and slotted regular hole. Next, specify the type of standard you would like to use. You will likely be using ANSI inch standard. Then specify the type of hole. Is it going to be a clearance hole or something else? The information you provide will change what shows up on the drawing and changes the size of the hole hole wizard will make in your part. Let's create a clearance hole for a quarter 20 bolt. Select screw clearances and then one quarter diameter clearance. You can also change the end condition for the holes. However, for now, we want it to be through all. Next, we need to locate the hole. Click on the position tab. Then, click on the face you want the hole to be on. Now you can click to place a hole. You can constrain these holes to specific places with dimensions and construction lines too. Add some dimensions to fix the place of this hole. Now, close the hole wizard and your hole will be created in your part. The type and size of hole will be added to your feature tree. This feature can also be changed later if needed. Try and get used to using hole wizard instead of using extruded cut tool when making holes for fasteners. This is important because it will speed up your process when adding fasteners and creating a lot of holes in a part.